Good evening and welcome to Cliffy Land's Global Cooking Challenge. Uh, tonight we are uh, working on week and country number 179 of 193 as we work our way around the world cooking food from Afghanistan to Zimbabwe in our four year long learn to cook experiment. Tonight we are working on the food of Turkmenistan. This is the third of three nights of cooking the food of Turkmenistan and uh, tonight we are making Ishleki which is one of the national dishes of Turkmenistan. Uh, we are also simulcasting or attempting to on Periscope if we can get this camera flipped on our ye old iPad here. Uh, they may not work too well but uh, we'll do it backwards then. Uh, hello! Okay, no, I really need to flip this. Okay, so in case you're wondering, where is uh, Turkmenistan? As I wait to try to flip this camera. Turkmenistan is located on the Caspian Sea, uh, just north of Iran, uh, to the, oopsie, to the uh, north of, there we are. Hello, we finally got that flipped around. Uh, so, to the north of uh, Turkey. So let's flip us here. And uh, thank you, EC, for the uh, like and the uh, restream there. Get my lens on. I'm like multitasking like a, like a fiend here. Okay. Trying to get our lenses on straight. Okay. Uh, on the box. information there, uh, pics uh, of everything, links to the original recipes, uh, links to these videos in case there's anything you want to see that you missed and uh, information about the countries and reviews, how everything went. Uh, hello, uh, hello France. Bonjour, Gautier. I hope I got that right. Greetings, bonjour. Um, so we're gonna work on our, on our Ishlekli. I-C-H-L-E-K-L-I, Ishlekli. And we're, and when we, uh, if you are uh, a regular, you know that uh, come time to uh, chop onions, etc., etc. It's uh, story time with Cliffy, and that's when I get into talking uh, about whatever else you want to talk about, or in this case, the very, very interesting story of this country. Ah, speaking of the country, okay, again, so you got the world here. You got. I'm doing this in reverse, and I'll do it for the Periscope people too in a minute. Uh, so you have uh, Turkey over here, and you have uh, Syria. You have Iran. And then over here to the north of Iran, so here's Iran, to the north of Iran, this is Turkmenistan on the Caspian Sea. It borders Afghanistan there, and I believe that's Uzbekistan on the other side. So one more time over here for the Periscope people. Uh, so uh, I'm looking this upside down, so I'm getting confused. Iran, and then you have, this is Turkmenistan right there on the Caspian Sea, former Soviet Republic. Uh, well, everything sorted out something. Uh, Gainesville, Georgia in the house. Uh, Gainesville, Virginia. Sorry. Hi. Hello, VA. So, we're going to uh, go with the leavened version of the bread here uh, for this. Let me get a little bit closer with the, uh, the Periscope people. Uh, I, I plan on eventually having this mounted uh, on, the, uh, on the fridge so it'll be total bird's eye view. When we get to the stove, it'll be bird's eye view. Uh, for everything. If you saw it last time, that was kind of cool. Uh, greetings, Kurdistan, from Iraqi Kurdistan. Are you in Erbil? I don't know how to pronounce I hope I pronounced that right. Thank you for the restream. Greetings. Thank you for joining us. You're obviously much closer to Turkmenistan. Have you ever been? Uh, okay, we're looking for two cups of flour here. One... Two cups. Yes, many, many Kurdish people uh, on Meerkat these days. Very nice to have a, uh, a, a more international population. It's very nice. Pennsylvania! Pennsylvania! Pink pajamas, penguins on the bottom. Pink pajamas, penguins on the bottom. Uh, hello, Nick. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Nicole, that is. Uh, and... Uh, Moisey, thank you for the uh, restream. Nope, I want to. Uh, well, I mean, I guess it's easier to uh, get into Turkmenistan uh, than it used to be. So, uh, one person I know is just there recently. Uh, thank you for the follow, Nicole. 
Uh, but it's a really super interesting country. Um, and like I said, we'll get into the details of that when, when I have time when I'm chopping uh, stuff. So uh, we're going to now have to soften uh, and add to this two tablespoons, no, three tablespoons of butter. So we're going with the leavened version here. So butter, add. Three tablespoons of butter, let me move this to one side. Uh, really, it's gonna be much better when I get the uh, bird's eye view on, on, from the fridge. I need to buy uh, a magnet, a very strong magnet that can hold the, uh, the stand with the iPad and such. So, yeah, three tablespoons of butter. Thank you for the like, thank you for the like. Uh, Nicole, thank you for the restream. Uh, I'm, I'm only touching this with my knuckle. Uh, Mwezi, I gotta get your name. Uh, thank you for the like. Okay, now I'm going to soften this in the microwave for a few seconds. Ah. We're having a little crisis with the, uh, the little glass ramekins. They keep dying. They keep getting, uh, getting broken in this household. So, need to buy more. So uh, then we're going to add uh, salt, so let me get that ready too. And teaspoon. And one, two, three, there. Ah. Okay, so we've got our three tablespoons of butter. And you still can't see, can you? Okay. Trying to get, uh, what are you making for us today? I am making uh, one of the national dishes of Turkmenistan, which is called Ishle, mm, I'm sorry, bad pronunciation, Ishlelki, which is a uh, sort of a Turkmen shepherd pie. Um, and if you're wondering why I'm taking pictures, it is all for the blog, which is uh, located at cliffyland.com. Uh, you can follow on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, on Pinterest, and on YouTube. And if you uh, would like uh, to, please do uh, subscribe to on the YouTube channel. You'll see uh, all the videos there posted the next day. You won't have to wait till Wednesday uh, for that to come out. So uh, we already have two of the Turkmenistan ones up there already. And they've gotten, a, for me, a decent number of views. For an actual YouTube person, an embarrassing number of views. But you know, hey, that's me. Okay, so we're gonna add a quarter teaspoon of salt. and a half a teaspoon of baking powder. See, again, this is the leavened version. I can get my, my brain together here. Baking powder, not baking soda, baking powder. Okay, so the baking powder, we're looking at half a teaspoon. And... In you go. And then we're adding one and a half tablespoons of sour cream. Sour cream, sour cream. This happens to be fat-free sour cream. Normally when I cook for this, I avoid the fat-free anything and go for the full fat stuff. I know it's not the healthiest, but uh, I didn't feel like buying a whole thing. Uh, Lavender Femchi, hey there. Thank you for joining us. We are doing the simulcast, uh, the mirror, mirror, mirror scope action again today. Um, I tried to think uh, to, to get the video from the um, Periscope feed. Uh, however, the quality wasn't really all that great. And I think that's because I have a ye old iPad, but uh, we're working on changing that soon. Meanwhile, one and a half tablespoons of sour cream. So one, I'm not getting too exact here. Uh, one, come on, this always happens. I got me the, uh, Turk, uh, the Turkmen radio thing happening, uh, because there's a very little, um, Turkmenistani music, uh, on Apple Music. I kind of exhausted everything that was there. Um, so, 
and maybe the someone in Turkmenistan figured out <laughs> what qualifies. Uh, but there's an interesting story about that too, vis-a-vis uh, -vis Turkmenistan. But like I said, we'll get to that when we uh, when I'm chopping an onion and I can concentrate on on uh, country trivia because it is really something. One and a half teaspoon tablespoons, which equals one tablespoon and then one teaspoon and one half a teaspoon, which means I get everything dirty. And away we go. Here's the half, and then here's the other half. What a mess. Let go. Okay, now I've got to go wash up. Uh, and we still have a couple more things here to add. Okay, we're gonna add uh, milk. I happen to have some whole milk. I normally don't have whole milk. I don't think I have as much as I need, but um, I bought it for a recipe not too long ago. So we're looking for a cup of whole milk going in here. Not even a whole cup. So I'm gonna have to fill that out with the fat-free that I normally use. Again, I didn't feel like buying things specific for making uh, the bread this time. Just use stuff that I have lying around. And the stuff that's lying around is the fat-free stuff. So we're adding our milk. And putting the milk back so it doesn't go bad. And then uh, we are adding, uh, I believe it is, yes, one beaten egg. So you get a bowl out to beat the egg. And watch me make a huge mess of that, as usual. Ah! This thing is going to be Okay, egg. Egg, 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 egg. Uh, and I, I believe I have one left. I have exactly one egg left. That's one egg. One egg for you. Okay. So, ba. And watch me get shell all over the cruise. One, two, three, go. Ah. Uh, that might be a first. Might be the first time I didn't get shell in there. Huzzah. That was hidden behind there. Uh, you'll see in a minute. Okay, so now we're going to beat the egg. And then mix that in. Mm. Yes, I'm really thinking of getting the new, uh, hey Cliffy, how are you tonight? Derek, how are you doing? Derek, you are such a nice man. Uh, I'm doing fine tonight. We are, uh, again, we're simulcasting. Thank you for liking the restream on the Periscope as well as the Meerkat. We are making uh, Ishlelki, which is the Turkmen shepherd's pie, um, which is sort of like a cross between a shepherd's pie and a pizza, um, at least the way I see it. I could be wrong in that estimation. People have jumped down my throat for thinking things are like other things when they say they're not like those things. Uh, so, spoon and egg is going to go into the dough. Again, this is the leavened version of this uh, that uh, I found as opposed to the unleavened. Of course, uh, looking at the blogs, they were uh, some people were commenting that uh, some people do a combination of leavened for the bottom and unleavened for the top, which seems like a bit much. So, considering I have, uh, and I know I didn't mix that up the way I know I should and whatever, and I, I just I always do everything wrong when it comes to flour, I feel like. But, uh, live and loin. So I'm mixing this until we get a stiff dough, 
and then we're going to knead it for about 15 minutes, which means this needs to get out of my way. Okay. And uh, when you get the dough, uh, it's going to wind up being divided into two-thirds and one-third. Uh, because the two-thirds is the bottom and the one-third is the top. I have you live on both. Oh, is that you, Derek? Hey there, hi there, who there? Uh, yeah, so you know, the bird's eye view is very fun on Periscope once we get to the stove. Okay, so now we have this and I gotta work it into a dough. And with a glove on my hand, it's always very exciting. Okay, here goes nothing. I'm gonna knead it here first before turning it out onto the floured countertop, which means I need a flower nearby. Flower! Makeup! Anybody remember, any, anybody remember that? Uh, Milton Burl? Makeup! Ah, what a mess. Ugh. Yeah. Wow. Okay. This needs more flour by like a ton. And now I've got my hands all gross. Bleh. Okay. This is what happens when I use the one with egg. And liquid. It gets all sticky. Ugh, what a mess. I hate this. I hate flour. I hate dealing with things with flour. You also sometimes, some recipes will say to have a bowl of water handy to dip your hands in it. But uh, we're gonna see what happens here. We are gonna see, watch what happens. Okay, flour. Flour, I cleaned the countertop earlier, right before we started, so in case you're wondering. Another reason I hate dealing with flour because it's such a pain in the ass to clean up. Mm. Okay. Wow. Wowie wow wow. Okay. That's gonna be fun. Okay, so now we need this for uh, a good, tell me it's not that long, for 15 minutes. Are you kidding me? 50, oh, mom made it, hi mom. Mm. 15 minutes, wow. Ugh. It should be elastic and smooth. And it's tricky doing this with a glove on your hand. Just saying. Oh, brother. This is like hell, is what this is. Oh, speaking of hell, um. There's a connection to the country. Uh, you may have heard me mention this previously. Uh, uh, but the gates of hell are in Turkmenistan. Uh, meaning that uh, there is a, um, they're, they're big in natural gas production. Uh, that's kind of one of their primary sources of income and such. And uh, one of the issues is that you're doing great, thank you. Well, doesn't feel like it, but thank you. Um, the, um, the natural gas is, there, is a big thing. And about 30 years ago, there was a big, uh, they were digging or whatever for natural gas. There was a giant crater in the ground, like a humongous, gigantic, you know, crater. And this crater... Uh, someone dro accidentally dropped a match or something and uh, the darn thing uh, lit up like the 4th of July and it's been burning ever since I'm gonna have to wash that grate I was supposed to hold that with a napkin and I didn't Ugh. this is way too sticky too sticky for life oh what a drag well, it'll kill the 15 minutes, me trying to get this thing going. Uh, 
something tells me I would have preferred doing the unleavened experience. Anyway, so Turkmenistan. So you got this country, and uh, it's uh, in Central Asia on the Caspian Sea. It's part of uh, the Silk Road, the trafficking between the uh, Far East and Europe and such. So this is kind of a key place on that. It was conquered by uh, Alexander the Great, among others, uh, the Mongols. Uh, finally, the Russian Empire captured it, and uh, they were such as, uh, this is really not good. This is really, really not good. This is, I don't, this is not working as, as anything I imagine should. Oh my god, this is a disaster. Oh, I hate working with dough. Somebody help me. Ken would have a machine for that. Yeah, well, they would, wouldn't they? Help me, help me. Ugh, this is not working. Uh, I'm gonna get a bowl of water, see if that helps. I'm gonna wind up losing half the flour to the water. Here. This is not working. Uh, thank you for the like, uh, Martina and uh, uh, oh, uh, Alisa. Hello there. Greetings. I'm trying to uh, make this less sticky and I am not succeeding. Mm. This is big huge old mess it's sticking to everything this is there isn't gonna be enough left because all will be stuck to everything else wow I don't get this I don't get this at all I'm gonna wash the outside of that later that's not that's way too much flour but I don't know what else I can do Hello, Martina. Hello, Elisa. Well, maybe that's maybe that was the clue. Maybe having a ton of flour is what I needed. Now it seems to be behaving. Usually it's lightly floured, so... I guess having a ton of flour was the answer. Okay. It is feeling elastic, though, so there's that. But this is such a hell to clean up. Uh, again, yes, normally there would be machinery that would do this. Okay. 15 minutes of kneading. It's a lot of kneading, activating all the glutens. This is not a gluten-free adventure. Anyway, so, Turkmenistan. So, uh, you got it. Thank you, Derek. Uh, Turkmenistan, uh, Soviet Republic... Uh, there was the Soviet uh, Turkmen Republic, and in 1991, they became uh, an independent nation. Uh, however, uh, the guy who was in charge, um, who, the, well, he wound up being the president, but became the president for life. And then he went uh, mad dictator crazy in, uh, hey Hector, thank you for the like. He went mad dictator, cra dictator crazy um, like really no one else ever has. I mean, compared to this guy, uh, Saddam Hussein was a shrinking violet. Let's put it that way. Um, I mean, he... Uh, human rights violations, yada yada, but also... But it was this whole cult of personality thing. He, uh, golly gee, he's uh, allegedly illiterate, um, but uh, banned all books except for his biography and the Koran. And he would burn down any mosque that didn't teach them both. He uh, renamed the months uh, for different things. Uh, he uh, had a new national anthem written with himself in it. 
Um, he forbade men from having beards and long beards. He uh, forbade anyone from having makeup on television. He forbade recorded music and karaoke. That was illegal. Um, he made a giant statue of himself in the middle of town on top of a giant pedestal, which is made of gold and rotates towards the sun at all times. Um, he, uh, bread is vital to uh, everything in Central Asia as we saw with uh, the other stands uh, when we did uh, Tajikistan uh, specifically. And uh, as such, he renamed the word bread for his mother. He had, so the word bread was now his mother's name. And everyone needs to follow that. He dumped the uh, Cyrillic alphabet uh, and kind of came up with his own Latinized alphabet of their language, which is also wacky. Um, lots of stuff. Uh, finally, um, he died in 2006, and, oh, oh, you had to, uh, have memorized his, uh, biography in order to get a driver's license. But he finally died in 2006, and, uh, deputy guy kind of took over, and, uh, he's a little better. He's, uh, undid a lot of the stuff the other guy did, um... Still a little personality, personality culty, but uh, not quite as much. So that is Turkmenistan as we've needed for uh, not 15 minutes yet. Thank you for the like, Hector. Again, we are on Periscope and Meerkat simultaneously as we need. Hey, this is working. It took a while. It took a while, but it started working eventually. Yay. Less to clean up, too. This is getting very soft and elastic. So, it has been uh, about 10 minutes. I need another 5 minutes of doing this. So, if you've got any questions, feel free to ask. What this is going to be, again, it's Ishlelki. It's a Turkmen shepherd pie. Uh, there's going to be two pieces of this. One which is uh, the bottom part and one is going to be the top part. So I've got to figure out how to divide this ball o dough into um, thirds. Like two thirds and Nick, Nikki, thank you. Do you have any tips to deal with anxiety, Cliff? Ha <laughs> ha boy. Uh, have you ever used a stand mixer to knead? Uh, no, I have not. I wish, I uh, kind of wish I had one. Um, it would be nice. Uh, in terms of dealing with anxiety, uh, that is a really good question because the OCD that I have, which involves the lists and following lists and stuff, which is part of that this whole thing is, is uh, part and parcel of the OCD, which is indeed an anxiety issue. Um, seek a professional help. There are medications and such that can help you with that in terms of um, non-medication related things. Um, you know, yoga, I don't do yoga, I run. I do long distance running. And that helps clear my mind a lot. Uh, breathing, breathing exercises. Uh, you'll uh, find a lot of stuff online about mindfulness and meditation. Um, anything like that. Uh, visualization can help. Because uh, it's, it's not a fun thing. Kneading dough can get your anxiety levels out, I guess. Uh, I hear people say that baking is very therapeutic. Um, usually I have anxiety about it working out okay, so I don't know. Maybe I'd have to be better at it. But hey, this seems to be working okay now, finally. So, uh, we are uh, at 12 minutes. So I need another two minutes of this. Um, when I was looking at making noodles, when I was doing, uh, way before Meerkat, when I was doing um, Kazakhstan, I think it was, uh, it was kind of crazy because um, I needed to make noodles. Your dew is doing well. Thank you. It's, it actually seems to be doing well. Yay. And, um, but uh, noodles, uh, there was, I, I, I made my first noodle for uh, Kazakhstan. And I looked online, and there's videos of these women making these noodles, and there's these long noodles. And they're sitting there doing like something like this big, and they're pulling, and they're pulling, 
and they're pulling and they're pulling and it's pulling across the room and again and flattening and it was crazy uh, uh, that was stuck in that dough not sticky yeah I guess putting a lot of flour down and then I guess once the gluten started to activate or something that the magic started to happen now it's looking like like shmoo remember shmoo shmoo what was that from I can't remember is that Casper the Friendly Ghost or something? Shmoo? Uh, you're doing your best. <laughs> Very good. Now I see why my dough doesn't come out. I add too much flour. Uh, yeah, um, there's this weird arithmetic. Um, this specific, I was kind of going between two different recipes and one of them, uh, they both had more or less the same amount of flour except one of them was saying 500 grams and, I was trying to, and the other one said two cups and then I looked online, I said, how many cups is 200 grams of flour? And it said, more or less two cups. And I said, okay, well, I guess two cups it is. But I've added, you know, a good deal more in this process. But I guess it was needed. Needed! It was needed! Do you get it? Puns! Puns for everyone. Now on Periscope, you can, be see, you can see on the Apple TV in landscape mode. But you don't see my hands. And you don't see the commentary. But there's nobody on Periscope right now. We see it with no, no time delay on Periscope. Um, wow, we wow, wow, wow. So, it is 6.35, four, well, one more minute. And I'm gonna get another bowl out here. Okay, so we're gonna put this under a damp cloth. Normally I would use my, um, uh, my lily pads for this, but I'm gonna go with the damp cloth just because. Uh, okay, it's time. So, uh, getting bowl number two. And you go in there. You are so pretty. Look at you. You are so pretty. Pretty, pretty dough. And, um, I gotta take a picture. Hold on, I gotta wash my hands. Glove. And then we take a picture of my pretty ball of dough. Oh, my precious. And now, again, since I'm doing the leavened version of this, uh, this is going to have to rest for about 20 30 minutes, but that's fine because I am not a fast uh, prep cook, as uh, anyone who's seen this for a second knows. And uh, so I'm going to get a wet towel, clean, wet tea towel. And cover it and let it sit for 20, 30 minutes. Uh, Super Matt Nazov, aka the Golden Man, was not a fun guy, unlike my mushrooms. Yes, he was not a fun guy. Um, it's weird, like the first thing he did was abolish the death penalty, and then he kind of went nuts. Um, but apparently he was kind of nuts to begin with. But yes, uh, Nazov, that was his name. Um, and now the guy is, uh, how is it? Uh, uh, I forgot the first name. Shoot, begins with a G. Um, but the last name is uh, Burdu Mohamedev. Burdu Mohamedev, I think that's the pronunciation. The present, present, president, etc., etc., etc. Not, not, not quite as nuts. Uh, let me clean this off like a lot because I got yuck all over this. when I just grabbed it with my bare hands, which I should not have done. Okay. You can sit there for a minute. Okay, then we're gonna get to working on our filling. Uh, but then we're gonna have to clean all this mess. 
This is why I hate dealing with flour. Because there's always a gigantic mess to deal with afterwards. Thankfully, I got this sucker. When I bought it at the, at the grocery store, they, um, they were like, wait, what is that? And I said, oh, well, you use it to cut dough and stuff, and I use it to clean the countertops when I put dough in. They go, what a great idea. Those are like the Target Lady sketch. She's like, oh, I'm going to go get one. Excuse me. Right on. Excuse me, you're ringing me up. And... Welcome to Target. Approved. Okay. Uh, how's about you? Okay, we're going to clean this, then we're going to make the filling. The filling is uh, from the unleavened recipe. And this is going to be lamb, a tomato, and onion. Uh, pretty basic. Uh, the food of Turkmenistan doesn't have a whole lot of spices, allegedly. Um, I know from having cooked, more, you know, everything from Mongolia to Kazakhstan and Kyrgyzstan and Tajikistan, that, yeah, there isn't a whole lot uh, in the world of spice. However, the recipes will throw some in. So, um, if they don't normally have it, I guess they've come to have it, it appears, uh, because nobody likes really bland food. And when I made the lamb and uh, rhubarb stew on, two, on a Friday, uh, or Saturday rather, it was really good. And it was quite spicy because of the addition of the um, um, hot, dried hot uh, chili peppers that were in it. It gave it a really nice radiant heat which was lovely. It wasn't like too hot, like crazy, get me out of here hot. So that was good. And then the dish we did on, uh, what was it, Sunday, uh, we had the uh, skewers, the uh, shashlik, which was sort of like the kebabs. Those were delicious. Uh, my only regret was that they were a little cold uh, by the time I got to eat them, but they were super delicious. Uh, done just right and the plov was also very tasty and we may have that leftovers as a side dish tonight so uh, I'm gonna get my lamb out in just a second here after I finish the arduous task of getting the last of all this nonsense off of the counters only to put it back on again have I mentioned I hate working with flour Turkmen. He, uh, guy declared himself the, uh, how, where's the pita bread? Uh, well, it's, um, sort of like the pita bread, but sort of not. Uh, I tried to make pita twice. The first time was an utter disaster. Uh, that was very early in my process when I cooked Bosnia Herzegovina. And then um, one of the uh, Middle Eastern nations, um, I forgot which one, uh, I made a pita bread. Maybe it was for Lebanon. And that one kind of came out okay, but it didn't really puff up like it was supposed to. So now we got to get to chopping. We're going to get another bowl happening here. And into said bowl we are going to add our lamb. We've got lamb shoulder. Uh, I don't know why, well, I, no, people, people don't normally eat lamb in this particular neighborhood, it appears. But since I order it, now they started stocking it and I feel real bad that I feel like I'm the only person who's ordering it. Um, but lamb. These are lamb shoulder and uh, I put it in the freezer for a very brief moment. Uh, as suggested to make it uh, a little, I don't know, easier to cut. The suggestion here is for it to be, uh, oh, how was the pita bread you had the other night? Uh, well, that was from the store. So it was, it was, it was what it was. It was uh, the pita bread uh, that was next to the uh, skewers was for the purpose of it was to grab the meat off the skewer because traditionally to get the meat off, you grab it with the, the flat bread. And then, you know, if you want, you can eat it with it. So, uh, it was okay. Okay, so this lamb shoulder, I'm trying to figure... Oh, I need to get trash. 
the premise here is to cut this really, uh, to dice it, actually. And there was a suggestion as to how. And since I have zero butchering skills, uh, first I'd need to get the bone out. And they didn't say what, uh, what cut of lamb specifically. And, uh, I mean, they have, I know it wasn't lamb shanks that we want here. And, uh, the, there's that bone again. I'm learning to notice it now. I need a class in butchery. Uh, the premise is to uh, stack, to, to freeze it for just a little bit, and then cut it in a certain way, and then make strips, and then cut it again, and then dice it third time. Uh, but none of that's gonna happen if I don't get the bone out. So that's just fat. So that's good. Over here we have some bone sticking in here, and another one there. See, I wish I knew what to predict out of these things. This time I, I, I said lamb shoulder because the, the last thing I did called for lamb shoulder and thankfully it wasn't the, uh, as expensive as the other cuts of lamb, I noticed. So that was a plus. But they have this whole thing, they call it a picnic, which is like a giant, you know, the huge Lego lamb. And uh, they never want to cut that up. I mean, why would they? Hello, husband. Hello, dear. I am chopping lamb. I'm trying to figure out where the bone is. Here. Don't give me that piece. Uh huh. Now it's gonna be diced. This is a pound of this lamb shoulder. Wow, there's more bone in here than there's meat. It feels like. Oh yeah, yay. Yeah. Okay. So now we are done with the bone. Uh, 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 okay, so now uh, what I'm going to try to do here, hello, Hi. is, um, bleh. okay, cut it into thin slices first, okay, and then uh, stack those slices and cut them into strips and then cross cut the strips into a dice, as opposed to my usual, just grab it and start slicing away method. Okay, we've got strips. And, I didn't even know what time it is. 6.47. 6.47. Uh, I have my remote up here, because, uh, I, I chose a Turkmenistan radio, uh -huh. as opposed to having to find my own Turkmen music. Okay. Uh, because I keep getting a lot of music that's Turkish, not Turkmen. No. And I'm thinking, that's not really what I'm looking for. But then suddenly all this crazy heavy, heavy metal came up. Oh no. And I was thinking, okay, I need to have the remote up on my watch so I can hit skip. For some reason, I don't completely understand um, certain countries, uh, from Russia, it appears, to uh, underground in the Soviet Union, where music is illegal, if you can believe that. Um, underground, uh, heavy metal, death metal specifically, is quite the big deal. Um, more power to you, not my scene. Okay, there's a piece of bone in here, which I don't want. And... Strips out of this. By the way, I sharpened my knife within an inch of its life before I started all this. Mm -hmm. Hope I'm not missing anything. Nope, okay. So now we stack. Eek, eek, eek. Don't, don't slice your finger. Okay. <clears throat> to make a very small dice. Okay, into the bowl you go and strip, strip. Okay. This 
not easy. And cross cut this way. And there's the, there goes the cat. Cat usually doesn't know I'm not making an appearance and I'm cooking. Here's me talking to strange people and this, where's everybody? Strangers, scary, no. Okay, we're still there. Okay, into there you go. And stacking, somebody says something. Catch the rest on YouTube, rock on Cliffy. Thank you, Nikki. Uh, oh, Nicole, thank you for coming by. I will uh, see you on the flip side. Um, again, this, uh, thankfully, I don't have a second dish that I'm worrying about. Everything is focused on this one, so. I'm a little stressed, a little less stressed than I would be normally at this point. You're home early, am I right? Me? Yes. Uh, I mean, I'm, I've gotten used to you coming in seven something. It didn't work out. Ah, well that would be why. Because I have my project. Yes, okay. I, yes, I knew there was something like that. Um, but the weather was nice today. It was a uh, yeah. I mean, it was it was a perfect day for the beach if you're a beach person because it was clear and it was cool in the you know upper 70s. Uh, but that's uh, the clear part is not good for the running because uh, there's no escape from the sun. And I don't want to wake up at five in the morning because I'm already up at five in the morning. But trying to sleep, I think I might as well just get up and run. Uh, do, 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 dicing. dicing. God, this is such a pain in the butt. There's got to be a better way. Is there like a food processor that cuts meat for you? Run it through a meat grinder? You know, I was tempted to buy a meat grinder at one point when we're in uh, Columbus at the, uh, at the North Market. They have all these food things. I used to live around the corner from it. It was great you know, farmer's market-y kind of thing, and places that sell food, you know, chef's stuff. And uh, it was phenomenal, and I didn't cook ever. So it was entirely wasted on me, and, and that was all walking distance, and now I have to go, you know, half an hour, 45 minutes to get what I want, which sucks all. No, I'm not moving back. But we'll be there shortly, though. Uh, so this is uh, Turkmenistan again, country 179 of 193 UN member states. We're working through learning to cook by cooking a food from a different country in alphabetical order, working our way from A to Z. Started in September of 2012, and now we are here in uh, April of 2016 um, on this uh, country. And we only have uh, 13 weeks to go, if you can believe it. We have plans for afterwards, uh, in addition to uh, taking a break and going away for a while, taking a much needed vacation. Uh, also, we'll be, uh, uh, before we leave and after we come back, we'll be doing some of the uh, non-UN member states slash sovereign nations slash territories slash disputed areas that uh, don't really fall into the 193 UN member states rubric. Um, we'll be doing Puerto Rico since that is my people and uh, I don't get, didn't get a chance to cook it before. And uh, maybe I'll have family over, who knows. And uh, then we'll get to the other things like uh, your Kosovo, Vatican City, Palestine, uh, Western Sahara, uh, maybe Taiwan, you know, maybe Tibet. We'll see. Uh, every last one will be controversial, so that's going to be really fun. And uh, then we uh, launch phase two. Whoa, that's a long comment. Uh, the commenting on Periscope is limited by the broadcaster to people they follow. I followed you, uh, but I knew you were but I cannot comment on Periscope. Oh, that's weird. Uh, well, I'd set the comment thing to only people I follow, but... Maybe I should lose that for next time. Um, the, the reason I, I, I limited the comments on Periscope 
but I do follow you, Derek. I'm almost certain I follow you, but maybe I forgot to. Um, is that the comments on Periscope, they come and they go so fast that uh, by the time they're there, uh, I don't get to see them and doesn't seem fair, but maybe I'll let go of that paranoia for next time. In fact, I'm kind of surprised I got my wear everything together to do um, the Periscope action. But uh, it'll be better when I have a better um, iPad on there. It'll look it'll look nicer. Okay, we're almost here on the uh, on the dicing of the meat. Oh, that bowl is really gooey. We'll let it soak. Uh, well, that too. We'll lose the fat. And dicing and dicing to get to the bottom of this. Uh, and then when I get to the bottom of this, I'm going to need to clean this off in there. Because I need to chop a couple other, just a couple other things. Not too much. Yeah! And I know, I mean, I, my instinct is to not be as thorough here, but I need to be because the way this is going to work, it has to be a very small dice or it won't cook right. So, patience uh, should be, uh, I don't know, rewarded eventually in the final product. Do uh, you do follow? Okay, then then um, something happened. Maybe I limited the comments entirely. Uh, I I have trouble with the periscope. I'm trying to get the camera to flip for the first like three minutes and it doesn't. Ow! Wow, that was real exciting. Hey, Clifton. Um, wow, that was tough. Okay, so finally we have our minced lamb, and uh, let me get in there to clean this off. This is trash, so I need to remember that in the trash and not in the disposal. Meat grease, the lamb juices. Hello, Clifton. Uh, progress at little a time multimedia cannot be easy. No, it cannot. Uh, it is not, but we're working on it. There's this other thing that uh, I, I saw another reference of this NOM thing that uh, seems, from what I gather, a internet community of live streamers all doing food. Uh, so I'm a little curious about that. But on the other hand, you know, we're a small community here on Meerkat that we know each other and we like each other. And there's a couple of us that do food and many of us that do other things. So, um, I don't know how that would work, but we'll see. Okay, after this we have to uh, seed and dice our tomato. So we got one tomato. One tomato. I ate a one ton tomato. A Florida tomato. Oh, too pretty. Hello. Hello. Hello, tomato. <laughs> Don't eat me, no. Oh, I hate these stickers. There's so much. Yay! It, it, it pays to have sharpened the knife. Okay. Now. V. Uh, we need to seed and core the tomato. And I did that wrong, but we're going to do it a different way. And 
I don't know how anyone finds anyone on Periscope either. Uh, if you're doing the, 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 the map thing, but I turned off the location services. Hello, Bella. Thank you for the restream and the like. I turned off the location services on there. So if someone's like going by a map to Florida to try to find me, you know, they wouldn't find me that way. Um, and otherwise, you know, you just have to go on the, uh, on the link from the Twitter. Which means you have to follow on Twitter and see it and all that other good stuff, so... We'll see. However, the replay does sit out there. I'm sorry I took a nap. What you making? Uh, hey, don't worry about taking a nap. I could use a nap myself. Uh, I am making Ishlauki, which... Uh, sorry, Ishlauki, which is a, uh, tur a sort of a Turkmen shepherd's pie. It's sort of like a cross between a pie and a, a pizza and a, um, your general meat pie. Uh, and this is going to be with a lamb and tomato filling. And uh, this is the tomato. And there's gonna be onions and bell peppers. And it's uh, curious, cause I mean, you don't, you know, people say pizza pie, but you don't think pie when you think pizza. But uh, this is, seems to be more closely a pizza pie, like the combination of pizza and pie. Mmm, pie. Channeling Rosie O'Donnell. while we listen to our Turkmen music, or Turkmen radio. Thankfully, there's only one tomato here. I need to, uh... seed. And I, I think I just went and got my groceries today, so... I need to stay, I need to keep going to this one market, because the one here, the one of the problems with the onions and the potatoes is that you can't, well, at least the onions, that you can't buy them other than in a bag. And then I wind up getting bad old onions. But the other one lets you buy them separately, so. And they're just, they're the same company and they're half a mile apart. Just on the other side of a bridge. Go figure. Okay, so to the, um, uh, meat, we're gonna add the tomato. Which we need to dice, thusly. Uh, I've got my uh, serrated knife for the tomatoes. I, I find for myself that I can't I can't cut tomatoes with any other kind of knife. If there was a Top Chef challenge that asked you to do that, I would fail. I would fail on most of them. Uh, boo 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 boo. So this is uh, again from Turkmenistan. It is the sixth of seven stands alphabetically uh, when we're speaking of independent UN member states. Anyway. Um, so you got your Afghanistan, Pakistan, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, uh, Tajikistan, uh, Turkmenistan, and last but not least will be Uzbekistan, which will come in, uh, let's see now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven weeks. In seven weeks, we'll get to Uzbekistan. And I'm afraid we're gonna be doing another plov. I mean, I just know, I just have this sinking feeling we're going to be making another plot. Okay, I need to wash my hands. There doesn't be a ton of variety in the foods of, of, of Central Asia. Although my favorite, uh, uh, Tony, hey there, thank you for the restream. My favorite, though, has to be uh, Mongolia when I cook. And uh, I, when I do the next go-round in phase two, uh, it'll be a while before we get to it, but uh, wow, it's going to be fun cooking that again because uh, that was uh, cooking with rocks, with rocks from my garden. I had to go to the hardware store to buy garden rocks with which to cook. It was bananas. And it did not involve actual bananas, though. Okay, so that's the tomatoes going in. Eek, 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 eek. And uh, let me... Uh, Clean this off, be right back, and then we're going to add our onions and our bell pepper. Okay. 
onion time. Uh, your food is on fire, lol. <laughs> fire, fire. Onion, one onion, finely chopped, coming right up. Onion. Like a nice big one. Okay, so finely chopped onion. EC. And uh, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try the leave the stem on action. Uh, allegedly that holds things together. I'm gonna I'm gonna try that. Someone told me that before, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a shot. I don't think I really succeeded last time I tried it, but if at first you don't succeed. Okay. And so that's cutting that end off and peeling back the layers of the onion. House and chop. House and chop. That's something. That sounds vaguely familiar. Maybe is that the name of it? It probably is the name of it, and I'm just dumb. Uh, okay. Yeah, again, no, no training whatsoever here. Uh, everything I learned, I learned in the four years I've been doing this. In the thir 30 years before that, I was sort of not in the kitchen ever. I mean, there were like two random exceptions. Um, actually, you know what? There's one of them. That's moi. More than 20 years ago. The reason there was a photograph taken is because um, I was never in the kitchen and no one could believe that I was actually in there attempting uh, Thanksgiving turkey, uh, which immediately had to be rescued by a friend of mine who dug inside and found that I had left the uh, plastic bag of giblets inside. Even though I swore I checked, I just didn't know how far to check. This is coming apart like a bad piñata. Ugh, no. No, no, no. And then with the gloved hand on top of it, this makes it so much easier to hold. Hola, hola, hola. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Okay, onions going in. You know what? I'll take a picture after I have them all in. Get in there. I hate working with the glove on. It's like I was slicing on um, Sunday, and I kind of sliced my finger. So it's kind of okay now, but uh, not, not perfect. So, better safe than sorry. I got the bandage on, I got the, I put liquid bandage on, and I have the glove on. So, I think that's like the first time I've cut myself since I've been on Meerkat. So, maybe I'm not doing that badly after all. And, you. When I see them on Top Chef, they're just going at it, like, like shoo, 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 shoo. and I just, I would totally cut my hand off if, if that was the case. That's the whole thing about holding it together. Are you going to become a new fashion icon with the Michael Jackson mitt? Yes, it's not gloved though, that's the thing. Um, it'd be like chain mail. You know, I, um, I, I saw the glove. The actual Motown 25 glove with the uh, moonwalk and the whole shebang at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Uh, when I lived in Ohio, I made the regular pilgrimage to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. So I've been several times. It's really cool, the artifacts you see there. Uh, everything from like Jim Morrison's Boy Scout uniform and report, John Lennon's childhood report cards to, you know, stage outfits from Elvis and 
Tina Turner and you, you Madonna and you name it. And it's really weird when you're looking and, you know, you think of like Elvis, you don't know, you know, what size this human being was. And then you're seeing, you know, something standing there in that outfit that he wore for the comeback special, the leather head to toe outfit. And I'm going, like, wow, that looks amazing. And wow, I imagine him so much taller. And Tina Turner is a tiny, tiny woman. I was very surprised. Hello, hello, the, the, um, Dosky. Thank you for liking the restream. We are working on our Ishlalki, or Turkmen Shepherd Pie. That's our onion going in. Wow, that's a lot of volume over there. Okay, camera to the onion. And lastly, we're going to get half of a bell pepper. I need to wash it. pepper coming right up. Now I debated, I bought parsley because I thought, oh, we could dress the dish at the end or maybe I could put it in in the mix. But uh, nothing, no recipe I saw suggested parsley at all anywhere. So um, I didn't want to presume. And uh, I want to do it as traditionally as, as, as possible. Green bell pepper, tumoy, inteligente. Ah, muy inteligente. Ah, muchísimas gracias. Ah, uh, curd. Greetings, ah. Uh. Español? Hablas español? Be interesting to be in Kurdistan and be speaking Spanish. A very interesting combination. Uh, I was trying to learn a couple phrases in Kurdish, but I, I, I'm too nervous to try to say them because my memory stalls. Uh, so, mm -mm -mm. but greetings, thank you for being here. What's up, my brother from my other mother? Who says to me? Nights. Uh, good night, uh, Lavender Femchi. You sleep well. Uh, and uh, greetings to Staten Island. Uh, I'm going to chop this off. This way, more trash for you. And let me get rid of all this nonsense. And the seeds. Now it says half. Yo cordosil. Uh, okay, thank you, that's nice. Si yo prender mi amigo. Ah, que bueno, yo curdo. Saludos. Yo soy puertorriqueño. I am Puerto Rican. American Americano in Florida, in Florida, in the in Los Estados Unidos, in the United States. Dos horas, two hours, al norte, to the north of Miami, Miami. Are you in Irbil? I've seen many pictures of Irbil. It looks very beautiful. I have a friend who, oh, well, I, oh, I've mentioned that uh, I have a book coming. There will be a book. Uh, muchas gracias. Oh, Linda. Um, uh, but but, but I've mentioned uh, that uh, there's a book coming. We'll be, hopefully, be out by Christmas. Uh, out for the holidays, available, um, details to follow. Should be very exciting. This, I'm saving. Keep on cooking, nanu nanu. Nanu nanu. Uh, sandwich bag. Okay, I'm gonna save this half of the bell pepper because it said half. Como se llamo? Ah, co okay. Como se llamas? Uh, but very good. You're doing very well. Um, uh, me llamo Cliff. Mi nombre, mi nombre es Cliff. My name is Cliff. This is my program. This is mi programa. Cliffy Land. El Mundo de Cliffy.
el uh, proyecto global, uh, mundial uh, de cocina, The uh, Global Cooking Challenge. Aprendiendo a cocinar, cómo cocinar, learning to cook, uh, cocinando, cooking, la comida de un país, the food of one country, a la vez, at a time, cada semana, every week, uh, sobre cuatro años, over four years, de Afganistán a Zimbabue, from Afghanistan to Zimbabue. Bell pepper keeps on ringing. <laughs> Ding dong. Um, you know, actually, this called for uh, the Cubanelle, uh, which I had never actually seen before. But last week, I just happened to be in the global market, and they happened to have them there. And so I used one, and it looks exactly like a green pepper, only longer. I didn't really notice any particular difference in the flavor. Oh, incidentally, I did not realize that green peppers are unripe red or yellow peppers. I did not know that. Uh, why did you decide to write a book? What inspired you? Uh, muy bueno, thank you. Uh, y, um, uh, what inspired me? Well, uh, as you, if you watch the stream, uh, you know I do story time all the time. Uh, I'm sort of like a natural born storyteller. And the uh, this project, you know, the blog is at cliffyland.com. And you can see and read, you know, everything that I learned from not being able to boil water to, you know, being here doing this for a global audience. And uh, I, in conjunction with a very special person, uh, we will be doing a book together of uh, recipes of the world along with... Uh, his adventures of seeing the world. Uh, tu puedo venir aquí. Uh, tu puedes venir aquí. Very close. Very good. Very good. That means uh, you can come here. Uh, that would be uh, uh, unusual. Uh, um, my friend has been there. He has been. He went to uh, Kurdistan when he when he stopped in Iraq, and he went to uh, Kurdistan, and it was very pretty. And I saw his pictures, and it looked very nice. Uh, I know you're, you know, fighting off stuff on the uh, other side there, and that's no fun for anyone. But uh, good luck to you. Uh, now, meanwhile, almost done. Just gotta clean this off, and then we'll move on. Uh, I'm gonna swap out gloves, and then just add a couple things to the filling. Uh, hopefully, dinner will be at a reasonable hour. Uh, uh, it's always such a pain putting a glove on when I have a wet hand. Uh, this is fun. See, see this? De donde? Cliffy, you missed my comment. I'm so sorry. Martina, looking for Martina. Martina, 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 Martina. Look at all you, you one you couldn't even boil water writing a book. Good job. Thank you so much, Martina. That's very nice of you. Yeah, it's really, I did. When I was, th I mean, I thought there would be a book. Uh, however, I didn't think it would be a cookbook. Dios uh, te bendiga. Greetings and salutations to you too. De Anyway, um, I thought the story would be like my, the story of like my adventure in this process and not, you know, a cookbook, but it's going to be a cookbook with adventures. Nah, come on. I do not enjoy this. I do not enjoy this one little bit. Okay. Now, uh, we got the picture of the onions. Yes, we did. Okay, so we're going to add, uh, where did you go? A teaspoon of salt. Oh, done one, missing one. Uh, eh, 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 eh. Oh, Tampa. Oh, someone's in Tampa. I can see you. Uh, yes, you can. That's kind of how this works. And we are adding um, one teaspoon of salt. Oh, 
phooey. Uh, let me preheat the oven to 482, which is very hot. And it takes a while to get there. In where I love the idea to combine travel with cooking. Uh, yes, and my partner in crime is knows more about traveling than anybody else. Let's put it that way. In where? Uh, try that again. Um, uh, be, 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 salt, uh, black pepper, and cayenne pepper. So. Where are you? Here we go. So I'm gonna add a pinch of uh, black pepper. I had more than a pinch. And a little cayenne pepper. We like it kinda hot. We like the spicy food now. Did not, did not start out liking food, spicy food, now we like spicy food. Uh, and we're gonna add one half a cup of water. Uh, I, I think. And then we're gonna mix it all together. So let me get a spoon and we start mixing. Yeah, you go back there. Okay. Uh, the periscope is going to be better, you know, when I get the uh, the mount, so you'll get to see this part from from up there. But once I get to the stove, actually, there isn't a lot of stove work happening this week. I just realized it's happening in the oven. Alas. So this is a lot of filling, but this is what's going to fill our ishlelki. That's a lot of meat. That's what she said. Uh, I'm okay. You have labor, Florida, Florida. So we have we have Tampa in the house. I see. Odd, the idea of being in Florida and being able to see the sunset in the west over the water. That's, I know that's how it works. It just confuses me. I think this should be in California. Uh, many years ago, before she got married, my sister had her boyfriend round at my parents' house. They had bought a shop, bought pizza, which she required to dot, dot, dot. You got cut off there. Um, so here is this. This has been mixed. And now uh, our dough has been dressing for more than long enough for us to move on with that. So let's get that going and mess up this lovely counter once more, one more time. One more time. Okay, you over here. You back over here. We've got our dough. Bejet uh, Peshmerga, my friend. Ah, yes, many Peshmerga here. Uh, Cliffy, what is Dusky trying to say to me? Uh, to you, I am not sure. I am okay, you have I do not know. It's not, it's, it's not in Spanish. Um, but that was smart of you to ask me if, if it was indeed Spanish. But it wasn't. Uh, wow, this is wet. Okay, into the laundry you go. Okay, you, my little doughy friend. My sticky, sticky doughy friend. Uh, yes, I, I can't avoid it anymore. Um, I need to get mucho flour on here. Oh God, that is way too much. I hope that's too much. I hate working with flowers so much. This is such a damn mess. Because I need to take you 
which has gotten all sticky again. You know, one of these damn recipes for something had, you know, in this situation said to cover something with oil, which wouldn't have been the world's worst idea, but this didn't say so, so alas. Mi amigo, tu aprender muchos idiomas muy linda. Tu aprender, you're, yeah, I like only. Tu aprender muchos, you learn many languages. Tu amigo, tu aprender muchos idiomas muy linda. Um, uh, just, uh, just a Spanish lesson. Uh, so, so you're saying, mi amigo, you're my friend. Tu aprender, meaning you learn muchas idiomas, many languages. Muy linda, that means very pretty, but uh, the female, the feminine. Uh, so idiomas with the languages, the word is feminine. So in that case, you would uh, say linda. If say, las idiomas son, son muy linda. But the person, uh, then it, they're talking about be male or female. So then be lindo for a male or linda for a female. Lang the Spanish is odd in the gender thing there. Okay, so we're looking for two thirds uh, and one third. Here goes nothing. Okay. So we have that chopped thusly. And we're gonna make two separate bowls of dough. I mean, flat circles of dough. I have to put that in the baking pan. So we got a rolling pin. Don't fall. And a baking tray, which we need to cover with parchment paper. Yes, yes. Because this is going to be the diameter of the dish, I, uh, of the circle, I think. It's supposed to be, uh, yeah, about that. So, this is my guide. Uh, yo no quiero molestar, Dios te bendiga, bravo mi amigo. Uh, no, está bien. Estás haciendo muy bien. You're doing very well. You're not bothering. Um... I'm going to put this down over here for a moment. Okay, so now you go this way, and you, we make a bowl. Give my number, lol. I see your mom up there watching. Yes, yes, she is. She, she got it working. We were having issues before. I'm glad she got it going. Okay, so here we go. And uh, it did, you know, the weird part, it says the diameter, but it does not say the thickness. Uh, I need more information. I never have too much information. Because I never quite know if I'm doing it right. And trying to get circles. And shapes is not an easy task for me. Again, this is the leavened variety of this. Uh, as opposed to the unleavened variety. Uh, so I'm doing a combination of two recipes. Uh, I'm doing one recipe for the dough from one and the recipe for the filling uh, for the other. Thankfully, they appear to be more or less have the same amount of... Um, Volume in general, though, so. Buenas noches, ¿por qué aquí no chao? Ah, sí, es uh, muy tarde ahí. It's very late there. Uh, this is... Maybe I have a bigger plate I can use. I'm going to use a bigger plate. There. So now, my knife. Going to cut a circle 
Around the outside. Around the outside. Around the outside. Around the outside. Two is lucky. Go around the outside. Around the outside. Around the outside. Okay. So we got extra. Which, uh. Oh, what the hell? We'll incorporate it into that. And now, with that. Uh, thank you for the like, uh, new person, 82. Ryan, thank you for the uh, like. Uh, well done, you get the sticky mess, the lovely rolled up bread. Yeah, I know. I'm surprised. And I locked up my screen. And focus. A big shadow of my hand. I'm being followed by a hand shadow. Hand shadow, hand shadow. So now we got our bread our dough and without dropping it onto the floor take our circle and somehow get it onto this I happen to have a, a, a pizza stone but I don't have the you know paddle so that's as good as that's gonna get there now I need to make another one which is slightly smaller. Uh, Mom! Got the restream, yay! So, rolling out a bowl. I'm gonna incorporate that other extra stuff. Okay. Get out your aggressions. Think about all those people blocking me on the sidewalk. People riding bicycles on the sidewalk when there's a bike path right next to it. One of my pet peeves. I have many. It's 12.35 a.m. here in the not-so-sunny Scotland. I'm sticking with you because uh, no work tomorrow. Oh, well, good for you on the no work tomorrow. Uh, so, um, I just had a trivia question about Scotland on my old trivia game. And I got it right. It was saying the country with the most sheep. I said Scotland, even though I was thinking New Zealand. But uh, I picked Scotland, so I guess I got it right. It is uh, quite sunny here. I do not. Um, I'm seeing on TV when uh, people talk about, oh yes, it snowed here, or whatever, and I'm thinking that can't. It just. I can't wrap my head around the fact that uh, other places it's not. Uh, I have no concept of seasons. I see things in the store like Easter stuff. And I think, is Easter coming, or did Easter already finish? And I see leaves blossoming, and they blossom, you know, different leaves blossom different times a year here, so I have no concept of what month it is. You only gauge it by the number of car carriers bringing snowbirds' cars up and down from Massachusetts, New York, New Jersey. And idiot people on the sidewalk. But uh, it's beautiful getting to see the uh, people on the... I, I see people uh, kite surfing every day, which is really cool. I kind of would like to try it sometime. But I think it requires a lot of patience and strength. Okay, is this big enough? You know what? I think I'm going to use the other plate for this, and there's a reason why. Because it's a little bit smaller, and that's important. Good night. Good night. Be well. Greetings to you and your brethren. And I'm really impressed you're learning Spanish. Okay, so we have our smaller circle, but I'm not gonna put that on the larger circle just yet because uh, I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move the periscope. I'm gonna wash my hands. I'm gonna move the periscope people so they can see the bird's eye view. Then I'm gonna move you and you'll get to see it too. So. Uh, meanwhile, it is still preheating, 
So uh, I'm still waiting for the ding on that one. I wasn't sure how long that was going to take. Oh, hearts! we got hearts happening! Hey, hearts! Thank you for the hearts! Okay, now, Periscope, you're going to fly. Fly with me! You go like this. Uh, no sound here. Oh, really? That's weird. I don't know why. That's not fun. I did not know there would not be any sound. Uh, this iPad is, is ye old iPad, too. I hope that's not a problem. Okay, are we, are we steady? Vicky! It's very late there, Vicky! Uh, okay, now you move this way. Ta-da! Hey! And, uh, I can get rid of you, because we don't need you. Now we have our big circle. I'm going to ladle on all this filling. That's a lot of filling. I don't know about the water in there, but... It said a half a cup of water, but I get the sneaking suspicion the half a cup of water is for the end. Yay, and yay! It finished. I think dinner will be ready at just about the right time. This is a ton of filling. It's supposed to go out to about one centimeter from the edge. So this is a very thick pie. This is not a, 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 a skinny pie at all. And again, this is our ishlilki, which is lamb, onions, uh, and green bell pepper uh, with salt, pepper, and a little bit of cayenne. Uh, just for laughs. Uh, we did the leavened version uh, as opposed to the unleavened version. And we're trying to leave an edge. Wow, this is much thicker than I imagined it being. But hey, that's what it said. You know, what the, uh, the leavened version, the recipe called for only a quarter of this amount of lamb. Uh, but that was really the only difference in terms of the filling. Okay. So, uh, you're done, and now I take a picture of that. And now to carefully bring our little other circle over on top of the first circle and lay it down on top ever so gently to cover the meat. Uh, Cliffy's Dusky Magiska Pass at Me Lol. Dusky. Oh, Dusky making a You know, I had a feeling. Uh, no mas trabajo mañana. <laughs> yeah, um. I, I wondered if that might be a thing. Um. That's. Uh, yeah. The word male privilege comes to mind. Okay. And, uh, well, you know, it's better if you, can, if you can find it amusing. Okay, so now the idea is to roll up and crimp the edges. And I've got that water happening that's leaking out. I'm trying to make it into a pie. Hence the meat pie aspect. Where'd that come from? Is that you? Huh. Hearing messenger sounds. Pigeon, pigeon parish? Pigeon pie. Oh, I bet this is like pigeon pie. Is that is that what you're, is that what we're getting at? I'm I'm I've I've heard the term and people talking about British food and such, pigeon pie, which I assume is baking pigeons. Did you just go out to Tra Trafalgar Square, Square and just go crazy hunting? Do people do that? Just kidding. Just I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Did you know they're actually thinking about making a movie? of uh, Speedy Gonzales. 
I think the, the word problematic comes to mind. No. Okay, now I'm going to get a little bit of water here, because this is what the done said, to get a little bit of water and brush some water onto this. I really like that bird's eye view. Getting new iPads going to look better uh, when I save it. Okay, so getting the brush, which I have hiding here somewhere. Where are you, Mr. Brush? So it says to brush on water. So that's what we're going to do. And I can't forget a very important thing here. Cannot forget a very important thing here. Uh, and I'm, I'm saying this over and over again so I don't forget it. Uh, can you guess what that thing that I can't forget to do is. Um, if this was a different recipe for a different thing, I'd be brushing an uh, egg on. For some reason, it's asking me to brush water on. So, I'm brushing water. Okay. The, the answer is that I need to poke a hole uh, onto this. Uh, poke a hole in the middle to let the steam escape. I'm trying to get it to connect with the other side, or connect with the inside, rather. Okay, poke the hole in the middle, and then to make it look authentic-ish, is to um, poke it with the fork in a decorative pattern of sorts. Uh, you may recall this from uh, when we did Tajikistan. Uh, that, um, how did that go? There's poking holes. Uh, I am not an artist. Ta-da! And now, this is very funny, this back and forth here. Um, poked holes and now into the oven it goes for 25 minutes. Uh, so here we go, into the oven. Into the oven. Set timer for 25 minutes. This back and forth is very funny. Very funny. Okay. So, uh, now we're in the oven for 25 minutes. So that gives us time to clean, basically. Um, because I do, not, I do not have a second dish that I'm making. Um, therefore... Um, you're just going to get to watch me wash until it's done. How do you like them apples? Uh, meanwhile, meerkat people, uh, periscope people, person, hi. Um, does it, does, is it exciting to watch from there? There isn't much happening from, from the sky. The sink isn't going to be very, a very good look anyway, so. Oh, what the hell. Nothing's happening on the stove anyway. So you can watch me from from the back. Okay, so we got the we got the double barreled uh, streaming happening here. Oh brother. You okay, Bella? Gonna make sure you're okay. I don't want any any unwanted anything happening here. Just so you know. I mean, I'm trusting that if you want something to not happen, you'll say so. And that might be an obnoxious 
do for me to take. I'm trying my best. I've been in and out of stream. What's the dish? Uh, the dish is now in the oven. It's called Ishlelki. 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 It is the national, one of the national dishes of Turkmenistan. It's sort of like a meat pie. And it really looked more like a pie than I thought it would, to be honest. I thought it was going to look more like a, like a, a flatbread pizza. Uh, because there are two different versions. Uh, mi amigo, hablar con ella, como puedo verte? Uh, I have, oh, well, um, he's saying the, my friend uh, talking with her, how he's, I think he wants to see you. I think that's what we're getting at. So, <coughs> that's, I think that's where he's going. So, make of that what you will. If you need me to say something about it, I can. If you don't need me to say something about it, I won't. It's just an odd thing, and I and don't want to say anything that's going to get anyone mad at me. Gracias. Well, my friend, this may not be the best place to engage in that in that activity in the in the in the flirting here. I, uh, just from watching and my, you know, outsider knowledge of customs and such, I do not, I, I, I consciously do not see any female people from Kurdistan on the meerkat. Uh, yeah, ella dice muy bueno, pero no gracias. It would be nice if Meerkat could auto-translate. It would. It would. It would. Um, it would make life easier. Uh, and make it a lot more global. And, you know, who knows? That, uh, well, maybe not with Meerkat, but with something that could happen at some point. You never know. Flippymatch.com <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I mean, being a woman on... The internet is a dicey proposition, as all women who've ever been on the internet know. And people make life difficult for you just because. And that is sad. Uh, what, you know speak English? I speak English. Of course I speak English. But, oh, you know speak English. You don't know hablas inglés, pero hablas español. <coughs> Así es como funciona. I'm adopting a different accent all of a sudden. When I talk Spanish, I, I, like I'm, I morph into various different nationality accents. And that's uh, one time I was in uh, Mexico, and I just went and I asked for a table. And the first question actually is, where are you from? And I said, oh, I'm Puerto Rican. And he said, oh, I thought you were Chilean. And that's not the first time that's come up. But then I spent a summer with some friends who lived in Spain. And they said, ah, that, 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 that was like this the entire time. And everyone thought I was Spanish, and I couldn't shake it. Uh, I think it would rock if Netflix had live-streamed professional shows. It would be hit on Netflix if they did. Professional shows. Define professional shows. Jesse, you speak enough English to understand this. Stop it. Okay. So that's, that's a more direct message. So, uh, if people feel like having a block party, they may have a block party. That wasn't a happy sound. Looks like one of the chopper racks came down. Hablar español me gusta. Did you change handles over a second here? No, a different person. Dilovan. Uh, 
Muy bueno. Qué raro hablando español por ahí. ¿Por qué razón escogiste español para hablar en esa parte del mundo donde no hay muchos españoles? ¿Hacen negocios con gente en países españoles? I said it's very odd that you would speak Spanish and learn Spanish in Kurdistan. Do you do, are you doing business with businesses that, uh, that speak Spanish? It's a curious choice, like a cooking show would host, lol. Javon, yo para tu prender. Hablar español me gusta. Okay. Um, the, uh, that would be cool. There's, like I said, there's this thing that I found called uh, NOM, N-O-M. Any idea when the book will be available for purchase? Thank you for asking. Um, not exactly. Uh, there's going to be two phases. Uh, the first phase is going to involve a Kickstarter, which uh, is going to be to get a copy of the hardcover book, which is going to have, uh, it's be like a coffee table thing. It's going to be big, it's going to be fancy, uh, it's going to be a little more expensive than your regular, you know, size book. And uh, once those are ordered, then they will be able to publish the uh, regular edition, which would be online in ebook stores and Amazon, etc., etc., etc. Yo no solo kurdo y arabi. Estoy, sí, estoy muy seguro que no eres el único. I'm very sure you're not the only on here. And, um, Son muchos. Hearts, 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 hearts over here. Hi, hearts. Hi, 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 Periscope people. Sorry, I don't have comments going there. And I don't know. I hear that there's no sound. Maybe I screwed up with something, but. Um, okay, this is done cleaning. Uh, we have 15 minutes to go. Mi país solo kurde y arabi. Si, eso lo que me That's what I imagine. I mean, the, the Arab peoples had connections with the Spanish people in not a friendly way. Uh, not friendly on the part of the Spanish people. Um, but, uh, I mean, unless you're like in Morocco or Western Sahara, I mean, Western Sahara, they speak Spanish. But I can't think of any other place other than Spain that you'd be speaking Spanish that's nearby. Uh, what will the pledge price on Kickstarter be and what perks? We're figuring that out. We are figuring that out. Uh, stay tuned. We're doing research. We're going to be taking pictures. Uh, and you may see my collaborator um, on here in June when he visits. La gente de Kurdistan, idiomas curto. Uh, so the people in Kurdistan speak Kurdish, yes. This this Seget. Um, but I, I, I'm just imagining what other languages you would speak Arabic, you, maybe you'd speak Persian, would you be speaking Pashtun, you know, that's, I'm just trying to think what's in the part of the world. Uh, love you, Cliffy, but I'm out of here. Okay, Bella, thank you, and I hope you weren't uncomfortable, so... Have a few minutes to go here. I clean up this sock and mess. Oi, oi, oi. I hate flour. What would, what would I do if I was doing this whole thing gluten free? Like the vegan gluten free global cooking thing. That would be the ultimate challenge. Because so many foods are like, you know, you can't have. Like, you can't have, you really can't have Central American food and be vegetarian. I mean, you can, but it's not, nothing's going to be authentic, and you'll be eating nothing but side dishes. And you'd have to prepare them in a, in a non-traditional way. And, like, so many countries, there's just so much pork that you could never be, you know, kosher or halal. And... Uh, and so many things are about baking and gluten and bread and if you were gluten intolerant then you're going to have a huge problem Kurdistan clima de Iraqi solo tengo kurdo uh, the Kurdistan the 
climate of Iraq? Solo tengo You only have Kurdish. So what, people in Kurdistan only speak Kurdish? Mostly? Is that what I'm hearing? I think? Uh, ah, this is such a drag to clean. Okay. Where is that thing? Yeah. I hate this so much. Ugh. So much. I have a friend who is like really, really, really gluten intolerant, like a, a true uh, what do you call celiac, celiac disease. If just a drop of anything falls on her food, she is just sick for days. And we had her over, and um, I had the uh, gluten-free hot dog buns, and I think I was cooking them near the regular hot dog buns, and I'm afraid some of the crumbs from one got on the other, and she kind of got sick, and I feel a little guilty that maybe that's what happened. But it'd be very difficult. Meanwhile, there's like whole parts of the world where the the grains are like sorghum and millet, and they're not with gluten. Uh, bleh, I missed something. Okay, back up. Uh, what? There is no volume on the Periscope stream that we can see the husband working away. Oh, dear. Well, that one doesn't get published much. So, uh, I don't know what the deal with the volume is. Goodness gracious. Uh, oh, yeah, so uh, Derek says hi. Hi, Derek. Uh, yeah, 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 ciao, yeah. Okay, and we're back to the Kurdish. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to do a Duolingo to, uh, to, to get up to speed on the Kurdish there. And I just dumped all the flour right back onto the counter. Because that's just the kind of smart guy I am. Ugh, stupid. 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 Uh, Dilon Van Abdullah, greeting, salam, salam alaikum. Uh, okay, te cuídate, yo tengo mucho sueño, adios. Adios. Uh, duerme, que duermas bien, sleep well. Okay, let's see if I can get this to counter. So weird, like half of the stream is like clip cooking, cleaning it counter from flour. But I wasn't going to do a second dish. I thought about doing a second dish to do a, um, a salad. But uh, then I realized that that would take so much time and chopping about eight different ingredients. And I'm so slow that uh, we'd be here till kingdom come. And then, uh, then not so much. Uh, me gusta comer, pero mis ojos cansado. Uh, that's very nice of you. Um, you like to eat, but your eyes are tired. It's very, very late. Is it Iraq on the half hour? Bien, bien, bon, buen apetito. Thank you. Muchísimas gracias. Is a, is, but is Iraq on the half hour? Or is Iran on the half hour? I know Newfoundland is on the half hour. Afghanistan is on the half hour. That's the one. Okay. Oh, so much flour. I cannot stand it. Uh, we have um, nine minutes. So this is the excitement of watching Cliffy clean. But uh, in nine minutes it will be done. And I don't know what the deal with the volume is. And I don't think I can change it on the, on the Periscope once it's already started. But I did give it access to the microphone and to the, uh, and to the camera, at least the last time I did. We are all learning together. Learning together. Uh, I was looking at a marketing plan and stuff and still working on a marketing plan, marketing person for phase two of this whole shebang, which is going to involve the book also, but uh, it's funny. People marketing on themselves on the internet, or people advertising that they are marketing professionals, 
For 20 years now, I've known that people can get away with anything. Just say you're, you know, advertising marketing professional on, on the internet and just, you can just do whatever you want and collect whatever people will give you. So, yeah, I hate flour. 3 a.m. now in Iraq. Wowzers. That's very late. You know, when I was cooking uh, the Papua New Guinea, uh, the, the mumu and a drum from Papua New Guinea, that uh, is one of my favorites, and it is on YouTube. Uh, I started that one in the mid-afternoon because it took so much uh, time uh, to just sit and cook. It cooks for five hours. So I had people, uh, but they were all from Australia and Singapore, which was really cool. Because um, these people had never seen the stream before, because it's never you know, the right time. So uh, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. Okay, are we clean? We feel clean. We don't feel completely clean. Uh, Anthony, Anthony Gilmore, wow, hi, Heidi, Heidi, ho. Okay, what's happening is in the oven we are waiting another 6 minutes and 45 seconds for a shlilki or meat pie to be done. I'm going to go take a peek at it. Um, and meanwhile we are on uh, mirror scoping on the scope side. Uh, and right now you're just watching me clean the counter because there was all sorts of flour all over it. So, uh, Anthony, do you go to all these, you know, churches and castles and stuff every day, or do you take a bunch of pictures and just, like, store them up? I mean, you have the, uh, the luxury of, of being near there. You know what? Um, I was just thinking of you the other day when I'm doing this cookbook that I mentioned in collaboration with uh, someone else, but uh, someone else involved in the production, who I do not know, apparently sort of collects castles, in that he goes to as many castles as he can find. He's in Europe, so, you know, they're there. Um, but I said that uh, he should follow your Instagram because you're always taking pictures of castles and stuff. And so it sounds like you two people should meet. Castles, castles, castles. Uh, dear Abdullah, thank you for the restream. Javan? I don't know why I can't get the last bit of this flower off of this. We think we have the time, but geez. Just doesn't ever want to come off. This does not, this sounds more Turkish than Turkmen, but I could be wrong. Out damn spot. I don't know how to get the sound on on here. Chat hidden. I don't want to hide chat. Show chat. I don't know how... I'm still figuring out the whole Periscope thing, to be honest. Nope, not stopping. Okay, well, there you go. Um, okay, I'm gonna go see how our, our meat pie is doing here. Now that we're officially clean. Once more. You've watched me kill time for 25 minutes. I knew that was gonna happen. I take a bunch of pictures and store them up. Ah! So that makes sense. I'm going to be in a position to take a lot of pictures soon. When we take the mutation. I follow these different people that go to uh, all the different countries in the world. Uh, who built castles in the sky? Uh, I know who wrote who sang the song Castles in the Sky. Okay, let's see now. Don McLean version, very good. Uh, okay, I'm going to look in the oven. I'm going to put these people up in the sky. So you can see from above as we unwrap our pie. And then you... Speaking of the sky, mm. and let's see, let's see, let's see. Should be golden brown on top. 
Yeah, it's a little, little brownish. It's got another three minutes. Uh, so might as well get uh, my plates ready. Which is uh, gonna happen soon. Uh, again, I'm crappy on time. But I didn't want to start any earlier. You know what? I was afraid this is gonna happen. I can see myself. Okay. Get our plates. So I'm hoping the lamb, you know, I mean, obviously the lamb should cook well enough. And uh, golly gee, need lots of room for this. Get you a good view. So you can see from there. Hoo Come on. Don't fall over. There you go. Remember, follow at Cliffy Land. Cliffy Land. Uh, here on Meerkat, on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, or on Tumblr, uh, or on YouTube. Now available on YouTube. We've got a uh, number. Derek, you're watching on YouTube. That was very nice of you, and leaving nice comments and such. Uh, you know what? I say that I say it's done. I've declared it done. It's just about a minute, but I don't care. I'm hungry. So, map of the world. Woo. And off of an out. Ah, face burn. Meat pie. That's a bigger pie. That's a pie. She's a very hot. She's a steamy hot. And uh, to now to figure out how to cut this into pieces. Uh, okay. Chop in the uh, stuff now. To, to, to serve it, to put it yeah. down. Uh, what am I going to cut it with? A uh, pizza cutter would be smart, don't you think? Maybe? Perhaps? If I can find it. Somewhere is a pizza cutter. Somewhere in this crazy, crazy cabinet is a pizza cutter. He said searching for a pizza cutter. It's going to be in the hardest to find Spot, I'm sure. Yes, indeed it is. It's in the absolute back of everything. Because we never use it. Ah. Okay, at last. Pizza cutter. Pizza cutter. Okay. Hopefully this works. Okay, it's got three settings. I think this is the one I want, I hope. Here goes nothing. Don't touch it with your bare hands. It's been in the oven. That, I don't think that's gonna work. It's too thick for that. Okay. Chef's knife it is. Did the comments just die on Facebook here, on uh, Instagram, on uh, what the, what the, the beer cat? Okay. Uh, at least we'll have leftovers. And we also have plov, which I did not heat up, but this is enough food. I'll have plov for lunch. Is, is a quarter of this too much, Sean? I'll have the bigger quarter. No, I guess that's okay. Okay. It's leaking. Yes, there's water and, and lamb fat. So I guess we need a knife and a fork. Uh, yeah. Uh, what else can I hold this with here? You. Okay. Come on, let go. Ah, 
don't fall out. Stay in. Oh boy, I didn't think about the falling out part. I'm hearing some narration happening here. The version of Night's Night's uh, <laughs> yes, I was trying to flip your periscope uh, overheard from my tablet on my iPhone, but I failed miserably. Sarait. Sarait. Sarait, Sarait. Okay, and here, don't touch it with your bare hands, it's hot. Uh, are we separated? Now I need to figure out how to get it without having it fall over. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Yay! Ha uh ha! -huh. Yes, indeed. I got it though. It actually came out. So there's that. Okay, there's gonna be picture time and then it's time to eat. So, um, knife coming this way. Uh, I need to make that look prettier somehow. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna have to do. Not video, not slow mo. I want photo, just a simple, basic photo. Can you do that for me? I inspired Darius to smile. Say Ishlilki, Ishlilki. Everybody say Ishlilki. Oh. Uh, Victor VIP boy, thank you for the like. Uh, Diana, hey there, thank you for the restream. So here we go. There's our Ishlilki, our piece of Ishlilki, our uh, meat pie from Turkmenistan. That's night three. There's the rest of it. It'll be leftovers. That's night three of Turkmenistan. Thank you for joining us. Again, follow here on Meerkat, follow on Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, or YouTube. Just go to cliffyland.com. Blog is posted every Wednesday with pictures, information about the country, links to the original recipes, links to these videos, uh, so you can see what you missed if you care to, and uh, reviews of how it went. Catch up on the countries you missed, from Afghanistan all the way here to Turkmenistan, 179 countries, in fact. Uh, tune in next week when we do the food of, we go back to the Pacific and do the food of Tuvalu. Tuvalu, Tuvalu, everybody. Tuvalu, Tuvalu. So uh, that's what we're doing. I need to stop the Periscope thing. Oh, also follow on Periscope. That'd be cool. So uh, thanks again. Catch you later. Till then, got to eat this before it gets cold. Bye.